now that all the technology is sorted out, mm -hmm. because apparently putting two VTubers in the same space is, like, borderline impossible for some reason. Yeah. Chibas. Anywho, how's it going, everybody? Uh, if you're not aware of who this is, hit the collab command, or you can go ahead and check in the description of the video when it goes up on YouTube. Uh, either way, I'm not going to introduce them because fuck this person. I'm kidding. <laughs> What? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm kidding. Hi, everybody. This is my friend Ellie. They're another VTuber, and they are somebody who I've been collaborating with on a few things on my channel recently, especially since I've been stuck here for, dear God, we're on day nine. I think it reads eight days, two hours, and 11 minutes, yes. actually. Eight days and two hours have passed, meaning I am on the ninth day. The ninth day hasn't fully passed. It doesn't have to pass. When the ninth day Shh. passes, I'm on the tenth I'm day. I'm just trying That's... to make fun of you. That's okay? how days work. You're trying to make fun of me, but you're looking like an <laughs> imbecile. I am an imbecile. I have I... no brain cells at I... the moment. I told you that 90% of what's required to do something on my channel is have a face. The other 10% is to be dumb as a bag of rocks. I barely have a fucking face on your screen. That's because it keeps on glitching out. <laughs> oh I need God. I need milk. There we go. Ooh, catboy milk? Catboy milk. We just, we just got that right there. Wait, wouldn't that... Uh, never mind. Never it's, mind. It's ethically sourced. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. It's ethically sourced. That's all that matters. Okay. Anyways. So you do not want Cirrus to base something? Wait. What do you... I'm not even gonna ask a scene. I'm not. I'm not gonna ask. Anywho, <laughs> anywho. Hopefully everybody's days are going well. I know that the second video going up on every single day, being an interview type video, is not what everybody's used to over on this channel. But that's fine. It's you're not the ones stuck in a chair showing your face, technically speaking. In so far as this character is my face, uh. Basically 24-7, even streaming while you're sleeping. You're not the ones doing that. I'm the one suffering. I get to make the rules. Hi. Anywho. What is sleep? I really wish I had more of that. Uh, but the last time I tried to sleep, I got woken up by a bunch of nightmares. So I'm not looking forward to that tonight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a lot of nightmares. I understand how you feel. Trauma. But Trauma. Trauma. <laughs> That's that all said. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Let everybody know what you do over on your channel and maybe a little bit about yourself. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ellie, um, or I go by VTuber Ellie on Twitch. Um, I am currently a full time VTuber. As of yesterday, I quit my um, technically day job. I only worked like twice a month. Um, but I finally quit that because <laughs> it sucked. Um, I am a variety streamer on Twitch. I do a lot of Genshin as of right now because uh, I have really bad ADHD. So I just hyper fixate on things. Genshin being one of them. Um, but I do play other games like Apex, Valorant. Um, I'm going to be playing the newest Darkest Dungeon soon. Um horror games upcoming for halloween sh stuff like that um yes and i'm also uh non-binary i go by she they pronouns but honestly any pronouns works for me i don't really give a crap currently your pronoun is hologram oh great yeah yeah i'm uh <laughs> the quality keeps I'd... dipping i'm sorry it's okay um maybe my uh I think, no, it's good. I think if we if we try to mess with it, it'll break further. I, but it keeps on yes. dipping. It dips back and forth, so it'll be fine. So everybody who's watching, just remember the like I have the luxury of broadcasting this, you know, from my studio, so my quality gets to be consistent. Anybody who's popping their avatar on does not necessarily get the same type of consistent quality. It's fine. You you could be fine. Their voice is what matters. Yeah. Now you just have to be able to tolerate at least I'm kidding. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you. I want to stab you. Look, look, look. You got in the habit of bullying me recently, and I'm just returning the favor. 
I bully my friends with love. That's what I do. I do not think stabbing is love. It is in my book. I... Anyways. Cool. Yandere confirmed. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Hello, Ellie Gasai. How are you doing today? Are you, oh, uh, no. Not future. Are you, are, are, you, are, you planning, are you planning on creating the third future today? Is that what we're doing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well... Prepare to be destroyed. Well, eventually you will get a leap motion so that you can use your hands to make the Unogasai face with your bottle. When I get the freaking money. I mean, I, I I just got one and I have not been able to figure out how to make the thing do anything close to what I wanted to do. So. Oh, cool. Fun. That's going to be fun to learn. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, I'm probably going to wait on that though, since I am going to be getting a new 2D model with two outfits, one of them being a maid outfit. Hey, we can be maids together. Yes. We'll have to do, we'll have to do a maid stream, a maid cafe stream. Yes. That is it. Yes. <laughs> now there's going to be somebody who's like viciously making maid cafe fan art with our characters. <laughs> Oh my god. I also I also for my three D avatar I have a swimsuit. Um so I wanna get like a couple of VTubers together and do like a uh not like a hot tub stream, but like a little beach like episode like kind of thing. Yeah. I mean I do have a swimsuit model. Interesting. Wait, did you not know I had a swimsuit model? Uh no. Hold on. I need to Ah, nope, I can't. I can't actually do that. I was gonna try to send it to you, but then I realized that like sending it to you through Discord is not going to work for literally the reasons that I am broadcasting you through Discord. <laughs> Hold on, I have I have ways of making this work. We used to talk on Twitter once, right? Okay, we'll just go over yes. there. Yes, we'll just do that because people who've been watching my channel, uh, they are used to seeing the swimsuit model. Uh, but there you go. Just drop that over. Uh, drop that over on Twitch, Twitter, Twitter place. Which? Yes. Why not just wear it? Oh wait, yeah, I have seen it. Okay. Because okay. the recording button is on Salem, and the time that it would take me to turn off VTube Studio, turn on VC Face, pray to the tech gods that it doesn't destroy the small semblance of a hologram that is currently Ellie, and that my computer wouldn't fry in the process. No. Listen. It's not a VTuber stream if it's not scuffed. Remember that. Okay. So me being a hologram makes things scuff, and that's fine. Therefore, it's a VTuber stream. Yes, a valid VTuber stream. That is... There we go. That works out perfectly fine. Now we know that everything's going to be destroyed. This is why the Stormtroopers are coming to wipe us out. This is the exact reason why. I would love for a Stormtrooper to wipe me out. That sounds oddly sexual. Listen, at this point, anything that comes out of my mouth sounds oddly sexual to anyone. That, I can't control it. Haha, you said the cum word. I said control, not... <laughs> you said that comes out of your mouth. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways. Oh, hmm, quality might go to shit again. Something started downloading. Okay, I stopped that. <laughs> there you go. But that said, for anybody who has not followed already, please go ahead and hit the collab command so that you can be able to do so. But that does bring me to a question. So where where everybody's concerned, where every VTuber's concerned, there's always some reason that we have this story. And this story is generally a thing for all streamers too, but for VTubers it's usually a little unique. So I want to know why for streaming you chose to be a VTuber and why did you choose to start streaming in the first place? So this one's kind of like, there's like a lot of different things I could say here because um, one, I did start becoming a VTuber because I saw one of my friends doing it and it really kind of spoke to me because I used to be an IRL streamer. Um, I wasn't very successful with that, um, but I generally have issues with my uh, face and my body. So sh putting myself out there, um, it kind of made me uncomfortable. So finding out what VTubing was, it made me realize, oh, 
That's cool. I want to try it. Um, so I was also very lonely back then. Um, this was around the time where I started like getting into groups with like LGBTQ plus people and, um, getting back into the social scheme. Um, because after high school, I lost all of my friends for good reasons too. Um, and I was back on the internet and I was still lonely as ever. Um, my friends kept having drama and it, it was just a nightmare. So I turned to VTubing. I started streaming all the time and I slowly started gaining friends and it made me realize that I do this for fun, a lot of fun. And it generally makes me happy, which is why I stream every single day or I try to anyways. Um, because like I said, I used to be very lonely and being lonely is not a nice feeling. Even when I had a relationship, I was still lonely because it wasn't the best. Um, but I realized that I found love through VTubing and I'm really happy that I found it. And I'm really happy that I met the friend who introduced me to it made my first scuffed model, and then it all spiraled from there, started investing money into it, started gaining followers, and it made me realize that I'm important in this world to some degree, and that's all that could matter to me. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Like, it's mm -hmm. it sucks to lose a community, and when that community all but gets replaced by the essentially by what was the next hobby you pick up it makes sense that you start investing more into it because mm -hmm. once you've lost that community once if you start seeing it grow again you kind of try to focus on that yeah yep 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 so oh sorry I honestly I don't know where I'd be if I wasn't VTubing I honestly probably would still be in a crappy job that made me miserable and I'd probably be lonely again and I'm really glad that I'm not. That is for sure. Well, I'm certainly glad you became a VTuber. It's literally how we were able to meet. So, yes. I mean, that's a positive. Dude, I was able to meet so many people. Like, my, uh, my best friend Hug, uh, she is my absolute world and we're even going to Vegas together for my 21st birthday mm -hmm. um, in uh, March um, we're planning on meeting up we want to go to conventions together like I gained this friendship because of VTubing just how I like met you I met uh, my friend Yori because I got into Genshin and I'm a VTuber it's just it's how the world works is funny or the universe and I'm so glad that it's designed in this way where you're destined to meet the people that want to stay in your life. And you're going to run into the bad people along the way. But I've ran into so many good people and I never once regret my decision of becoming a VTuber. Well, it's one of those things when you start like tallying the things that are in your life that can be considered good. And when you're starting to link a lot of them all to one common denominator for you that common denominator seems to be VTubing. Mm -hmm. Like being able to being able to do this as both a hobby and as well now looks like you're trying to do it as a job. Yep. Um but I honestly don't treat it as a job. I don't look at it as a job. I try to have as much fun as I can because once I start looking at it as a real job as you've seen that part of me before, I get really stressed and I don't like being stressed and I don't like not having fun with something that I love doing. Well, so yeah, most, I just... of, most of your stress has really been revolved around numbers. Yeah. Um, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting much better at it. And I am continuing to grow. My growth has been insane. Um, it's honestly kind of scary to think like so many people would follow me. Um, cause I used to be, you know, a nobody and now I'm like, I'm up here, like not like all the way up there. Like I'm not hollow live or whatever the fuck, but, um, it's taken a lot of time to get where I'm at. Um, you know, 7k followers and 
actually being able to make a living off of this, it's all insane to me because I didn't see myself doing this, you know, a year ago. And I've been streaming for a year and I've been VTubing since January. Now, I know that I can say that the, the VTubing part of streaming has certainly been a positive thing for my life. Not because, not just because of the people that I've met, but just the way the VTuber community works. Like, yeah, there's drama in it. Duh. There's drama in any community that gets large enough, and it's it's impossible to avoid. But mm -hmm. I would say that this is probably one of the most wholesome communities I've been a part of, which is not a hard bar to clear, considering that I'm normally part of the philosophy and politics sphere of things, where everybody's arguing all the time, and that's just the flavor of the month. So... But I know that, you know, for you, starting VTubing was, did you, when, when you started doing it, was it because there was like anybody at Hololive or anything that you were looking at at the time and you just went, I want to try to do that as well? Or was it more of a spur of the moment thing? It was more of a spur of the moment thing. I actually didn't know what Hololive was when I started VTubing. I generally don't follow big, bigger creators. So, I mean, I like kind of new because my ex at the time or well my boyfriend at the time now my ex he would show me clips and i'd be like what's that and he'd say like a vtuber and i'm like oh okay so i never saw myself getting into it because i didn't know what it was i only knew it from like um my friend and those little clips i would see but i wasn't interested in it like i wasn't interested in any of the creators or anything like that i just came to love it on my own <clears throat> I say that's not too dissimilar to me. Like I knew what a VTuber was before I became one, but that was because I had a friend of mine who watched them very religiously. Uh, and I didn't actually consider myself even like a VTuber when I started. I just did what I had already been doing, the live streams, the videos, everything I was doing on YouTube. And just, I had adapted the VTuber model uh, to what I was doing. But the more I've done this, the more people have started to like look at me as a VTuber doing a thing as opposed to just a commentator who happens to be VTubing. And it's kind of weird how that happens. Like you, your identity starts to be kind of sucked in almost. And I don't know if it's been the same way with you where like there's an idea of yourself you had when you walked in and there's an idea of who you are that your community's grabbed and now you're some weird amalgamation, uh, amalgamation of the two. That's been kind of what happened with me. I don't know if that's the same thing with you. Um, yes and no. I kind of put more of my like actual personality in what I do. Um, but I have grown a bit of like a persona as what people would say online. Mm. Um, I try not to give too much of myself away, but I kind of like threw that out the window when I started being um, transparent with my viewers because on my streams particularly, um, if I'm having a bad day, I'm going to express that because I have a very loving community and I don't like putting up this facade or not being um, who I want to be. Because I once did take on, like, a personality that wasn't me, but I've kind of, like, grown into kind of merging those two, but being more myself than anything. I think that's the thing that I didn't have that same... I didn't have that same path, almost, because I didn't start out streaming. I started out with edited videos, and I, you know, wrote scripts for them and everything, and then just over time I started going, okay, I'm not going to write scripts anymore. And then it just, when you're not scripting your content, more of yourself bleeds through naturally. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of how things ended up happening to me. But that brings me to another question. So where you are right now, you focus mostly on, right now, mostly on Genshin, mostly on Apex, stuff like that over on your stream currently. I know you mentioned there are other things you're going to be doing, you know, as far as celebrations are concerned. And those aren't the only games that you play, but those are the ones you focus on. Is there a reason for that? And are there any other games that you plan on making more of a focus in the future? 
So the reason why... <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. Let me take a drink of water. That'd probably be a good uh... idea. Thirst is impossible. Oh god, that is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my model does weird shit. Um, so, like I said in the beginning, ADHD is like... I hyperfixate on games a lot. But um, part of the reason as well is... Um, all the games that I play on my channel genuinely bring me happiness. This is what I tell like people who come into my stream and they're like, Oh, like, um, I want to start streaming. Like, what can I do? I always tell people, stream what you're going to enjoy playing. Do not stream something that is popular on Twitch just because you want to grow. You're never going to enjoy streaming if you are going to play the games that you don't actively want to play. Um, because when I started out, I actually started out streaming Hades, which was a, it's, it's a, spectac a spectacular game. Um, and I will gloat all I want about Hades because it was the game that generally brought me happiness. Mm. It's just like how Genshin brings me happiness and Apex makes me like happy. It makes a, give me adrenaline and... I like, I just like shooting things. I mean, like, <laughs> it just, it brings out this part of me that I never get to get out. It's like a, it's a good stress reliever. Um, and I made the Yandere joke earlier, but then you just went, I just like, I just like shooting things. You know, I like that is the beginning. Pew pew, okay? That is the beginning of the word shoot. Yes. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, so I generally play games that always make me happy. So that's why I'm like really focus on Genshin because that game has a lot of hot men and women, but also it has a really good story. Really good story, even though you're, you're, some people invest a lot of money in it. I personally don't invest my own money, but my friend has helped me uh, with my gacha addiction. Um, <laughs> cough, uh, cough, 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 cough. Uh, we, we call him my Genshin sugar daddy in my, uh, my streams. <laughs> He literally gives me money just to buy stuff on Genshin. <laughs> you see, no. and, and, and you and and you made the comment when I was playing Genshin earlier about, oh, look at all the baby characters. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't have a Genshin sugar mod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Therefore. Therefore. But no, yeah. Um, but going back to what I was saying, um, Genshin generally makes me happy. Apex, Valorant, all those games. But I am definitely planning on playing more games on my stream. Um, I want to dive into horror a little bit. Um, I got I downloaded SCP, the the new multiplayer mod thingy, and it scared the shit out of me when I was playing it with my friends offline. Um, but I want to do some more horror games because for some reason my chat likes it when I'm scared. It I it makes me mad because I hate being scared. But you know what? Whatever. Um, I have learned and... that your chat is your best friend and also your worst enemy. My example of that duality would be the timer that's currently under me. I mean, when it hits <laughs> zero, I explode, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I'm planning on playing that. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, since the new, uh, the new game came out, uh, Darkest Dungeon 2, literally yesterday. Um... And I really want to play more single player games because I use I generally play a lot of multiplayer, so I don't do a lot of stuff on my own. Um, because I used to do a lot of collabs, and I was kind of known for doing collabs, but honestly, it became unenjoyable for me because I kept pushing it. You know. Well, not to um, mention when you're when you're always doing collaborations, it makes it really hard to learn how to keep an audience on your own. Yeah. Like, sometimes just having conversation with the chat is really hard if you're not already kind of used to doing that. Exactly. That's why I started playing a lot of Genshin. Um, even the people that I play multiplayer with, I don't, like, get into calls with them because it honestly becomes too overwhelming for me nowadays. Um, I get really scared when it comes to, like, big collapse. Um which is why I'm scared for uh, my subathon coming up because I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to keep the collapse going, so I don't go insane. 
you, you're you're basically adopting my model. You're adopting yes. my subathon model, which is do the regular like houseworky things you kind of have to do on your channel, and then also do games, and then also bring on guests to break up the pace, and then also like you've got like this myriad of things that you want to do, and it's not just because you're super excited because you want to do all of them. It's because you also recognize that like when day three comes around, you're like, okay, I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. But at least I'm not going to be crazy like you because I can't be because my last shift, for my other job is uh next Saturday. So I can't exactly like be gone for like, I don't know, five hours and expect things not to go crazy. Because five hours would actually be like twelve, which because it that's would be boring. Because it would be your sleeping time, basically. Yeah, it would be my sleeping time, um, and then most likely would add my work time. Because there's no way I'm going to work a shift at my job without any sleep. I'm not crazy. <laughs> you could always, you could always be that dick that just like you go to your job on your last day and go, "All right, guys." I'm going to leave and become famous. And then when everybody's just like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever you say. And they just go, joke's on you. I already am. Fuck off, buddy. And then you just like walk out the door backwards. <laughs> I wish I could do that. I mean, you totally I... can. Yeah, I totally can, but I don't have the balls to. It's also probably not a good idea just in case. Yep. But it would be funny. Yes, it would be funny. Also, I just realized that technically I have your character shorter than me on stream. So it's canonical. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're not Lacuna small, but you're still small. Lacuna is really baby. Like, like I am used I am used to Raz, who is like half an inch taller than me. That is just Whoa. how I'm how I have to deal. Damn. <laughs> <Sheesh>. <laughs> that is a that's an awkward amount of horny on stream. Yep. <laughs> I, there, there's no, not even a justification. Just yep. <laughs> I tend to bring the horny when it comes to uh, you know being on streams. I guess things for people to expect if they hit the buttons over in the description. <laughs> then again, I know that most of the people who are watching live, at least, because uh, because during the course of the subathon, I know that people over on YouTube haven't seen this, but during the subathon itself, you've been in and out of my stream about three or four separate times, and like, not just in chat, but like live. So I think most most of the people who are here for this stream are just kind of used to you being here by now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you even start that in that chat. And me calling Get that rebellions. out of that chat. No. No, no. Get that out of there. I see that. No. No. <sighs> Hold on. I'm the Uwu queen. <laughs> so what would you say if children go to timeout? Hey, that removes <laughs> my mod privileges, you fuck. Oh, well, I guess you'll just have to get them back when you're out of timeout. <laughs> <laughs> I have Rude. the power here. Rude. <laughs> You'll get them back later, don't worry. Okay, okay. I think. <laughs> Free Ellie. You can't. Okay, I mean, I've got I've got more powers than that too. I could also hit the mute button over here. No. <laughs> you have no you more. Have, you have a nya, but you must scream. <laughs> Jesus. Glowing Dust, thank you for redeeming your points for an oh well. Y'all aren't being oppressed. Y'all are literally the majority. Learn freaking social dynamics. <laughs> Come on. Don't even. Jeebus. So, that does sort of thing, though. I know that over on my channel, the breadth of things that we talk about over there are pretty massive. Because uh, it's not just gaming stuff over on my channel. It's, you know, talking about politics, talking about pretty much anything under the sun. Uh, and that's generally not the comfy thing that most people look for when they are watching 
VTubers. So the question I got to throw at you is, outside of games, is there anything that you plan on bringing over to your channel outside of that? I do plan on doing more just chatting stuff where I do... I'm not going to talk about, you know, the big topics that you talk about, but... Um, I definitely do want to talk about, like, certain issues that uh, go on with society. Um, especially, you know, me being female at birth. Um, stuff like that. Because I do have a voice and I do want to use it. And I'm never going to stop using it. Um, but it's a maybe because I am a comfort streamer. I pride myself in being a comfort streamer. I want people to come to me when they're having a really bad day and they want something to watch. So it's either I dive into that or I just talk with chat, just do little chats. Um, I already have my own like little podcast that I do with my friend every two weeks. Um, mm. Unfortunately, we had to cancel this week because I had schoolwork. Uh, but I, I like being a comfort streamer, so it might not change. But I do want to do more just chatting, you know, just talking with my chat, you know, getting to know what's up with them, you know, make them feel important because I know what it's like not to feel important. Um, and I don't want anyone to feel that way. Understandable. There's definitely something to be said about building a community that's around you where people can be safe. It's not, there are people who come home from a long day at work or they get off of school and sometimes their house is not the safest place for them. It's not the safest place physically. It's not the safest place mentally. So being able to actually provide an environment, even if it's just in the digital space, where people can go and just be comfortable, that's a huge thing for people. So I do think that that's, that's a good thing. And I wish that my channel could be a safer space for people, but I am far too confrontational, uh, especially when there are trolls in the chat. And I'm just like, no, we're not yeeting them. Everybody's going to see what they have to say. I'm just I'm just going to have a lot of fun with this dick bag. <laughs> it's a very different approach. I know most uh, most VTubers, most streamers in general, but especially most VTubers have the... Uh, Get the get the bad person out of the chat. This isn't a place for them. Type of dealio, and I'm just like, no, no, keep them here. I'm bored, <laughs> which doesn't work I mean, out very well. <laughs> I do tend to ban those type of people, but I also shit on them for you know what they're worth because <laughs> they have no lives, generally. Um, <laughs> so I do I do understand what you mean there, um, but. I also have a lot of people who come into my chat who try to make me very uncomfortable and make passes at me. That's where I draw a line and they just get banned and I just ignore them or say, get out and be done with it. Because um, this is the life of me. Well, I mean, it's at, at that point, you're not just dealing with somebody who's a threat to your chat. You're dealing with somebody who's a threat to you. That's yeah. somebody who's there. They're coming in and you're mental well-being, your wherewithal, all of that is, is you know, it, it has a chance of going kaputs when somebody yep. does that. Uh, we also, though, in the chat, speaking of people who like to harass us, we do have a redeem. Let me go ahead and scroll up and see who did it. I do not know where it actually is. I'm not going to scroll up and try to find it. There wasn't a, de a redeem for an... Uh, da, da. Uh, da. That didn't come through. You should give that a try again. Oh. Ha, da, da. There, see, that's somebody who actually knows how to do it right. <laughs> Fuck off, you horny <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Jesus. I could also do my staple on my stream. Nyada, nyada. <laughs> There's going to be like one person in the YouTube comments that goes, you, that's cringe. I'm just going to be like, that's so cringe. We just we just have to respond with the usual. Yeah, we know. We're yeah. aware. I'm very aware. I just have to do it because my chat wants what they want and they will complain if they don't get it. Oh no, you posted cring. Cring. Yeah, the point the point is the cringe. The point is the cringe. 
Yes. Yes, it like, is. Like we all recognize what it is. We all know that there's a there's a certain amount of character that we're throwing up there on the screen. We we get that. We recognize that. Yes. We do. We C- really do. Cyrus Phoenix, thank you very much for redeeming your points for an owl. 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 <laughs> Why does that make you vomit? Because oh, is it because it's... you're a traitor? Yeah, because I'm a traitor. Oh, look at you. Look at you, traitor to the empire. I mean, the downtrodden workers of the OFO. <laughs> okay. Sheebus. But. Ooh. Go on. <laughs> Are you still timed out? Can I do it again? <laughs> Stop! I'm already timed out for seven more minutes. <laughs> Jesus. But that said, you do have the future plans on your channel. You do have what you currently do over on your channel. I also know that you very recently, uh, at at somebody's behest and poking and prodding, uh, finally set up a Patreon. Yes, I did. Um, yep, I did do that. I, I did set up a Patreon. I need to... St- I'm waiting for my 2D model to start doing YouTube content because I want... My 3D model, as it is adorable and I absolutely love it, it is very scuffed in some ways. Um, so I just want I just want my 2D model and then I'm going to start making content and then my Patreon will really get some use out of it. I know yes, that- I did make a Patreon. I don't think that it's the model is scuffed so much. I think it's mainly that when you are a 3D VTuber and you do not have access to Vive trackers and you don't have access to... If you don't have Vive trackers, an iPhone, and a Leap, like, without combining all those together, there's a certain level of uncanny that comes from any 3D model for the most part. And that's yeah. just that's just kind of there it's not on the model itself like if you were to take that model and you were to you know run it through unity get some blend shapes attached to it uh with their ar kit and then you know run it with an iphone and stuff it wouldn't seem anywhere near as scuffed it's just limitations of the hardware that's one of the things that like i've tried to tell people where vtubing is concerned is that your if you go 3d with like a vroid model you will have a much lower upfront cost but uh, the hardware to make one of those things shine, that's expensive. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I just got my, my leap, and I cannot for the life of me get my hands to do anything but spaz out and look like I'm trying to jerk myself on stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, it, it takes, like, to get, like, a really good model. I know that for even 3D, it costs a good fortune. Um, if you go with someone who's like an experienced modeler and knows what they're doing. Oh, if they're going through like um, Blender and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vroid seems to be the more scuffed of things and it takes a lot of uh, perfecting to make it work. But I feel like, yes, I have a lot more movement with my 3D model, but you know, I don't have the tracking, as you said, uh, the face I- iPhone tracking. Sh- is jiggers. I know that iPhone generally has better like facial tracking and stuff like that, which I had thought about getting like an iPhone just for a camera or like fixing up my mom's old one. It's just work. Too much work. I'm actually looking on my phone right now and yeah, it looks like my order is still sitting in just confirmed. I actually have an iPhone 11 that is potentially on its it's a used one but it's potentially on its way to me so i can finally start doing that advanced tracking uh but i don't know when that's going to be here that's gonna take a while you want to tell me the price of that on twitter real quick the one that i just picked up yeah sure thing i can do that give me uh just a second to discreetly slide into your dms here real quick i love it when he slides into my dms guys It's the silence for me. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. 
That is not that bad. No, it's not. It's not. Like I said, it's a it's a used, scratched up, cracked screen thing, but it doesn't have to do anything other than read my facial movements. That's literally it's... all it's gotta do. So My mom has an old iPhone, but it's like it's not usable, unfortunately, because of the screen. Which it's like a hundred and fifty to repair it, I think. But like uh, I don't know. I probably should at some point maybe invest I, in that. I probably would because even 2D models when you can get the when you have an iPhone for tracking, even 2D models can be improved a lot. Yes. Because there's a lot more uh if you look through your VTube studio, uh there's a ton of options on there that are locked behind iOS. Mhm. Mm so, like I know when my when mine comes in specifically, um I see Salem, my, uh, my, the person who made the VKS, the Virgin Killer Sweater model, also the one who has been helping Bon Bon with my 3D models, said spazzing is part of the lead motion, to be honest, which is why I told you it's better to use VR hands. I know it's better to use VR hands, but I'm very dumb, okay? I told you, 10% of what's required to be on the stream is to be dumb as a bag of bricks. And I've, I've got that in spades. <laughs> but... So you've got a space for people over there. You've got plans to expand what your content's going to be in the future. I know that you have talked about trying to get YouTube stuff set up. Have you given any thought into what you want to do over on YouTube? I know you mentioned there are discussions that you want to have on your stream. Are you planning on taking those discussions and moving them over to YouTube as content? Uh, possibly. I just, like, don't know what I, um, want to really do for YouTube content. I don't know what's, like, going to be really good for the algorithm on YouTube. Um, it's, like, something that I have to think about, maybe, like, work out with you as well. Because I do not know what the hell I'm doing. I'll be honest, I do not know what I'm doing. I just do this for fun, but, you know, I quit my job. <laughs> You're you're doing it for fun, but now you've got to now you've got to find that sweet spot between recognizing it's your job and treating it like a job. There's yes. a spot there's a spot between those things where you can do it and it doesn't feel like work, but you've got to be very careful how you go about that. Yes. Very careful. But I will I will be trying to do what I can to help you as you get your channel started out because I started out on YouTube and moved to Twitch. I know infinitely more about YouTube than I do about Twitch. Yeah, see I know Twitch well. I've n I've made it work for the past 10 months and I mean well, it's taken a while. I um growth takes a while but I have noticed that like my growth has been very fast and very steady in the sense of followers um but I don't really look at like the followers and I go like oh yeah I should be make I should be having like a hundred viewers or whatnot I know that followers people just follow and like do that as a way of um what's the word um boasting boasting yes that's about but, the biggest one that I would see is people going, I'm a 300,000 follower channel, okay? You just have to go like, <laughs> yeah, cool, but you got three active viewers. What what, what the yeah. fuck happened there, Steve? Yeah, see, so like followers to me, it doesn't like correlate with average viewers because um, people generally don't come back after they follow, like from what I've noticed. Like a lot do because like I do have a lot of like... Um, people who frequent my streams often but a majority of my followers they sometimes don't come back they just give me a follow and then they're gone but yep. i don't mind that it's fine and it's that way just... with it's that way with all live stream content too yes like anybody exactly. that uh anybody that tries to say that you as a streamer like look at you your your viewers are down right now have so many followers why like i know i made the joke about the 300 million uh follower three viewer guy but there are some people who sit in the like several thousand followers but they get double or triple digit viewers but that's normal that's just how live streaming is even some of my friends who are like way bigger than me as streamers i've seen them have days with only 20 people in chat mm -hmm. despite them being a lot bigger than me like that's just that's just how it works and what some people maybe need to understand is that 
like where where you are right now. I can actually pull up your Twitch stats at the moment, and you are in the top one percent of Twitch. Yeah, I I have seen that, and I was very surprised. But it's like it's because there's so many people who have zero viewers. Like there's yes, there's so many people who stream for no viewers who can't get anybody to to watch that it just ends up being that there's when there's 50 when there's you know 500,000 people trying to stream and only a thousand of them are getting higher than two or three viewers it's it's not hard to crack into that top percent but once you're there you kind of know that your trajectory is okay yeah yeah for... I go on sorry go on no go oh. on <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say, like, I, I know what you mean. I know someone who, uh, he's a friend of mine who has, uh, 18k followers. And I've seen days where he even gets, like, only 20, 30 people on his streams for a good few hours. Like, it's, it's just going to happen. It depends on, like, time and what day it is and, like, you know, who's live at the moment because... I try to stream at a time where, like, all the bigger streamers are, like, slowly getting off. Um, that way I can get, like, the nighttime crowd where there's, like, there's not going to be as many big streamers online, which is why, um, I do see, like, a spurt of viewership around, like, 2, 3 a.m. for me, but I really don't care anymore. Like, I just stream for fun. Like, I, I don't even look at my, my viewer, uh, count anymore, actually. I turned that off when I, uh, did OBS. I check, like, here and there, but... I try not to focus on it, but um, I do know that I am like in the top 1%, but as you said, there are a lot of channels that only get zero or one viewers, and that's why I try to raid smaller streamers as well, because when I do have those 30 viewers, I want to give them off to someone else who is going to be very happy with it. That's the reason that I do the VTuber Showcase on my channel. Like, when I'm live, I do the... Uh, I know that they've... People have now named them stealth raids. And I know that we've only got maybe like two minutes left because you got to prepare for your stream. Um, mm -hmm. But people have started calling them stealth raids now. But originally it was supposed to be VTuber Showcase where we show another VTuber on stream while I'm live for a bit and try to get them some follows, get them some viewers. Uh, but now people have just renamed it because, I don't know, they're assholes. Why not? <laughs> they're buttholes. But before you go, before we wrap up, do you have any advice that you would give to somebody who is starting out on Twitch? Uh, because I know that there's a lot of people, that's the, the first thing that they ask generally is like, hey, do you have any generic run-of-the-mill advice that I can have before I start doing a thing? So what would you say is your generic run-of-the-mill advice? Um, I could give a lot of tips, honestly, from like how I've uh, gone my gotten my upbringing on twitch um i will say do not de be discouraged by views because you're not gonna have fun if you look over and you see oh you only have two viewers you're immediately going to have a mood drop it's just inevitable um and it's going to make the stream not fun and people are going to come in see that you're not talking because like your brain is going to think oh there's no one here why should i talk and people are going to leave and, and it creates a cycle Yes. And that's another thing. Keep talking. Even if you have no one chatting in your chat, keep talking because people are going to show up and they're going to stay when they see an interactive streamer. Um, those are like the few things they give, like just um, also stream like what you want to stream. Don't stream just because you want to gain something. Uh, streaming a game that's not fun to you is going to show in your streams and people are also not going to stay. Um, that's like all I've learned from when I started because I've never like tried streaming the bigger games that are more popular. Um, so that's what I'm going to say. Stream what you want to stream. Don't get discouraged by viewers and keep talking. Always keep talking. I'll give my little bit of advice at the end there, which is, uh, just do it. People get yes. paralyzed. People get paralyzed by the idea of how to start. Stop just start grab obs hit the go live button see what the fuck happens worst thing that happens is a train wreck happens in front of your house and you can't stop it but like that's that's very unlikely yeah very unlikely but that but said 
I do want to say thank you very much for lending your time over here, not just during this interview, but during various points during the subathon. It's been very much appreciated. Of course. And if anybody is watching and they have not already gone to follow Ellie, if you're watching live, hit the collab command. It'll take you over to their channel. If you're watching this recorded over on YouTube, go ahead and go into the description and you will be able to head over to their channel doing so. Stop shaking your head. Oh, okay. They should be going to your channel. Not, not, do not discourage them with subliminal <laughs> okay. messaging. Okay. There you go. Go to my channel, please. I, I would appreciate it. I love you guys. Bonus comes with booba bounce. <laughs> starts starts gyrating <laughs> my head All hurts right. now Ow. <laughs> aha we gave Ellie a migraine right before their stream goes live perfect that was the plan all along now you're streaming in hard mode <laughs> well again thank you very much for hopping on and for anybody who's watching remember go ahead and support other streamers and if you want to be a streamer just fucking do it this loser can do it. Yeah. I'm talking about me, <laughs> not you, dingus. I was gonna go, just do it! And then you fucking said that, bitch. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind-the-scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real-life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.